Long time no see, Jake. In the year 2001 AD, the United States government constructed an experimental island in response to the National Nanotechnology Initiative, NNI. They named it Nanotechnology Island, and it was there that they assembled the finest American analytical minds from every field, business, government, and education, to form a united research project committed to unlocking the untapped potential of nanotechnology. With unlimited access to the world's most advanced scientific technology and a massive amount of government funds, advances in nanotechnology occurred at a startling rate over a short span of time. Twenty years passed. Concepts and machines that were considered fantasy in the 20th century were one by one becoming a reality. These new technologies were made available to the general public, causing drastic improvements in lifestyle on a global scale. Then, one day, the main computer regulating all the island's nanomachines suddenly went out of control. Every nanomachine on the island malfunctioned, from those in the research labs to the ID nanos embedded in the bodies of the island's residents for identification purposes. Thus occurred the tragic birth of the Orgamex, living mechanical organisms whose bodies are comprised entirely of microscopic machines from the molecular level on up.
someone explain it to me, now! The island's main computer went berserk, sir. As a result, the nanomachines injected into the island residents' bodies have malfunctioned. You mean a bunch of microscopic machines caused this? It is highly probable that the nanomachine's self-replicating ability is to blame. Self-replicating ability? Yes, well, you see, they have the ability to duplicate themselves using the iron particles found in human blood. This keeps a fixed volume of nanomachines inside a given body. So, what, they'll just keep replicating indefinitely? Uh, correct, sir. Building new nanomachines from blood iron over and over again, until they can unite with one another to form Orgamex. Or so I assume. Good God. How do we stop them? Actually, shutting down the main computer will halt all nanomachine activity. Michelle Baker, a scientist familiar with the workings of the main computer, has already been dispatched to the island. Baker? Which unit will be her escort? Sir, uh, she said that a convoy would only increase the chance of casualties, and decided to go in alone. What? The unit at the front line has nearly been wiped out. What about the cyborg militant unit? I've lost all communication with them as well. I can't find their signal. Are you telling me they might have been destroyed too? General Raymond, sir. If we don't stop them now, they'll breach the mainland. Yes, Jake. Get Jake here, now! Jake? But sir, he was executed. No. He's still alive. Prep and chop on the double! He's the only one who can clean up this mess. So, how are you? How do you feel? What's wrong? Did you forget how to speak? I was in cold sleep for seven years. My body won't do what I want it to. <laughs> a cyborg militant like yourself has nothing to worry about. Give it a little time and you'll be fine. I sure hope so. Even though it was war, you slaughtered tens of thousands, including civilians. It was all I could do to save you from execution. I had no choice. Yes, I owe you for that. But aren't you putting your career in jeopardy? If everyone thinks I'm dead and I make a surprise appearance on the battlefield? Don't worry about that. If your talents can save our country from this national threat, no one will say a word. General Raymond, sir. We'll be arriving at the front line shortly. Here, use this. Uh, what is this? It's a new type of weapon we call a plasma blade. Using this, you'll be able to destroy anything down to the molecular level. We've sent a scientist to the island to disable the main computer. Your mission is to protect her at all costs and assist her in shutting it down. We've arrived, sir. Okay, put her down. This is close enough. Still as crazy as ever. Jake, I'm counting on you. <laughs> <laughs>